Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Now, before we move any further forward, I do want to clear up a couple of changes that I've done off-screen, because I'm sure I'll get a couple of questions for them later. First of all, I did actually outfit Ogryn with the Legion of the Dead armor. I just kind of figured that would be appropriate for him, all things considered. And Liliana here is now wearing one of the other mods that I downloaded, purely for aesthetic value, the... Uh, Phoenix armor set. There are actually a few different armors in there, including the Battle Maiden and the Matriarch. She is currently sporting the Scout armor set. Anyway, with that out of the way, there is one thing that I've thus far put off doing, and should probably take care of now. Gather my party and venture forth? Why, yes. Yes. I'm going to yes. take my usual party with me. And assuming nothing bad happens, I think that we finally check out Ben Loren's lands. These densely wooden lands provide much of the timber used in the region. We should go check this out. Presuming we aren't attacked on the way. A goody when not. And though. Nice awesome close up of her sword there. What's this? Take a closer look at the unarmed man. You are surprised to recognize the uniform of King Kaelin's honor guard. A memory comes to you. You fought alongside this man at Ostagar. <laughs> Well, let's look at the guards. The guards wear the uniform of Ben Loren, a minor lord, well known and little loved for the fluidity of his allegiances. Well, I have no intention of just simply letting this pass. They are clearly bullying this man. Let's join the fray. Oh! Asshole! I'm gonna make you pay for that. Especially with my swords. Or maybe I'll just let you run right past me. Apparently. This should be easy enough. On your guard! Uh, Here we go! Oh, 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 this is an interesting angle to fight at. Sure. Oh, you stunned me. I repaid the favor. Okay, time to take care of the rest of these fellows. Right. Where are you go What? Oh, no. Don't tell me the guy's dead. Up close, the man's face is unmistakable. You remember him as Elric Marine. Marine? However that's pronounced. A member of Kaelin's honor guard at Ostagar, and a close confidant of the king. Are you feeling him up? No, you're just reviving Thank him. you. I, I didn't expect the band's I men to notice two my aren't escape so quickly. Exclusive. I tried to hide here in the woods, but there wasn't time. And now I'm a dead man. You're awfully talkative for a dead man. Oh, you aren't dead yet. What do you mean there wasn't time? You were there in Ostago. You know how things went. For me, it was either this or die in some dark spawn's belly or, or be hung as a deserter. Yes, I, I recognize your face. You were there with the Grey Wardens, one of Duncan's new recruits. I was to guard the king. He was my friend, understand? Make her. All that time in Ban Loren's prison. And I couldn't stop thinking about all they suffered that one dark night at Ostagar. <laughs> it's not your fault they died. I know. Even had Logain's men not turned their backs on us, the Darkspawn were too many. Even Kalen, for all his bravado, knew there would be no victory at Ostagar. 
The king entrusted me with the key to the royal arms chest. If anything were to happen to him, he said, it was vital I deliver it to the wardens. Why didn't he just give the key to Duncan? He didn't get the chance. Duncan was so busy with the new recruits and keeping Logain at bay. Whatever his reasoning, it's me Kaelin entrusted it to. <clears throat> Is this chest important? The Royal Arms chest. It's where Kaelin kept his father's sword, the one he always said he'd slay the Archdemon with. More than that, there was a secret compartment where he kept documents concerning his dealings with Empress Selene and the Orlesians. Do you still have this key? The Maker has a sense of humor, doesn't he? I suppose it's for the best, however. Had I kept it, it would be in Ban Lorin's hands by now. But you said Kaelin entrusted it to you. I was afraid. I thought I would lose it on the battlefield, so I stashed it in the camp. Please, it's probably still there. You don't think the Darkspawn found it? I hope not. Would they know how to work the lock even if they did? Probably. The Darkspawn are more cunning than we give them credit for. But the King trusted that lock with his secrets. I'd guess that the contents of that chest are still intact. The key's behind a loose stone at the base of a statue. I'll draw a map for you, so you'll know where to search. You'll be taking me along, won't you? Call me sentimental, but I left behind some dark spawn that really deserve a sword through the middle. The events at Ostagar still haunt my thoughts, Warden. If that is where we are headed, I would like to accompany you. It is vital that the King's documents do not fall into the wrong hands. As for Merrick's sword, it is too powerful to be poured at by those monsters. Same for the King's other arms and armor. And... And if you happen to find Caelan's body, See it off. He was our king. He shouldn't be left to rot amidst the Darkspawn's filth. Spontaneous death. <sighs> and thus begins Return to Ostagar. As well as the looting of this private militia here. You know what? I don't need that clogging up my inventory space. I really don't. Gather your party and venture forth? Yes. And now Ostagar has been renewed. And we can go back there, but first... I'm going to change up my party a little bit. With a cow. No. I'm going to take mostly the same people with me. Yes. Yes. But instead of Morgan, oddly enough, I'm going to be taking Surat. Surat was there at Ostagar. Basically, anyone that you take with you, if you take anyone who was actually there at Ostagar with you, there's some extra dialogue. And for those of you who are wondering, yes, it does include the extra companion. We're getting attacked? Really? Oh! My dogs! Oh, and there's gonna be a lot of- or wolves. And there are gonna be a lot of traps here. There's also gonna be an insane number of traps. just for some extra experience. This should be easy enough. Uh, 
Uh, Alistair almost just triggered that trap. There's supposed to be some up here, I thought. No? Okay. Sure. Lots and lots of traps. And this is the joke here. Warning! Wolves frequent this area. Warning! Or caution! Traps laid for wolves. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Because all of the traps were for the wolves, but the wolves weren't caught in them! Uh, let's just continue going to Ostagar. Excuse me. And right off the bat, we are attacked by Darkspawn. Who could have seen that one coming? As you wish, I know. <laughs> You know, the Darkspawn didn't really say anything to you when, so your oh really comment doesn't quite make sense. Guys. Something about returning here makes me feel old, Wynn. And what exactly are you implying, Alistair? What? What? No nothing. No, I just thought... You just thought I might be an expert at feeling old, and could share some sage advice. I, I just mean that I was a different person then. I believed him, you know? That it would be a glorious battle that we'd win. I did too. We were all a little bit younger the last time we were here. Well, not you. You've always been old. With lips like that, son, you'll be lucky if you live to be half my age. You know, that was a really inane conversation, guys. Because it goes without saying we were younger the last time we were here. Do you want to actually touch the pile of sacks? No, you don't. I don't need the money, I don't need it clogging up my inventory space. So, they block off being able to pass down right through here, so you have to take an alternative route. And remember this? This is where we met Sir Jory. Although the Darkspawn seem to have taken particular delight in restructuring that statue of Andraste. Oh, I don't need it. And, uh, side note, if you had not actually gotten the key from the prisoner, you would have been able to get it from him now. That would have been him. Suffice it to say, he did not survive the encounter. Well, hello, Raven! I wasn't expecting you to make a cameo in this game. And more Darkspawn. Again. Okay, Emissary, that's that. Although you call the Strider, that doesn't fool me none. Inspiration Emissary. I'll take the lesser health poultice, although at this rate I really don't need it. And I don't need the acid flask. Herlock Strider, however. Kaelin's Greaves? Happy Bark! What's the matter, Alistair? I don't know, it just feels wrong to find this here. Poured over by dark spawn and thick with their rot. It was his. I know, I feel it too. But he is not the first king to ever fall in battle, or even the first to fall to the Darkspawn. Yes, but this wound cuts deeper. 
And it will bleed longer. But we must keep moving. No doubt the Darkspawn are eager to give us plenty more reasons to mourn. And I just looted you and didn't find anything. And you may also recall that this was where we had our joining. Well, sort of. And what's this over here? Joining Chalice? And the pile of sex. You know, every time I say that, every time, it sounds like I'm saying something else. I have a filthy mind. I'm also lost. Where am I going? Am I climbing up the mountain hill? Okay, sure. The mountain hill? That makes sense. Of course it does. Anyway. Oh, and you'll remember this place. Dark spawn approach. Watch for their blood. Push that more dark spawn. at killing Darkspawn. You'd think we were Grey Wardens or something. Or being attacked by more Darkspawn. This should be easy enough. <laughs> take him down. You don't think so? Then stop trying to use the ability you can't use. That's right, Alistair. You don't think. Oh, and I missed an epic little... Well. And you just ran away from me. Well, guess what? That's not going to help you. Alright, now that that wave is done with, they're going to continue dropping things I don't need. But, here's the mage's chest. Which again, if you had the key with you now, unfortunately, for some reason, it... What the... C Don't block me, guys! Seriously! And, uh... Where are we going? Ah, back this way. Oh, um... Hi, quartermaster. Ugh. I'm gonna run over your head. On it. And pick the lock on. Ooh, Warden's Longsword? I'm gonna take that just because it has a cool name. And another Warden's Longsword. Sure! Fine. Now this has. Ah, there. Darkspawn Forge. The Darkspawn have fastened crude spikes and a corrupted hollow skull to the simple blacksmith smorge that, that as that you remember. On it. As if burning it into an idol of, turning it into an idol of worship. Blah, blah. It's hard to read white text on white background. And that's our blocked way up that way. Genlock Forge Master. He has a lot of money on him. What do you have, Alpha? Money. Good. Elric's buried key. On it. So, supposedly he gave us directions as to where to find it before dying rather unceremoniously. Okay. Ah, the kennels. This is where we would have met Dog. 
Couple of dead Mabari. As you wish. Firestone harness. And yeah. Swift runner warp paint. Oh, hello. Lighted wolves. Boy, they're sure making sure that we run into every kind of enemy that we had when we were here before. Back off. Erlock Vanguard. That sounds familiar. That's quite a sword you have there, Erlock Vanguard. That's what happens when you piss off Char- Oh yeah, there are other enemies. Oh, hey! Let's get started. God damn it, Wynn! Stop dying! This is a problem with you! like this any longer you fought like this before what did you do anyway wrenched limb I guess you fell on your limb okay sure I like Vanguard ooh Kalen's shield what no comments on that guys Huh. Ah, hey. Now, I'm pretty sure... Now, I could be mistaken, of course. I remember spontaneously getting... And we can't go back up that way. People, stop getting in my way! Anyway, so I'm actually out of time for this installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins, but I hope to see you next time where I continue my way through the frozen Ostagar. Hope to see you then, folks.